we knew the impact that coronavirus was going to have on the world was we just felt something. For me, I remember getting home, going to my office and praying, we have people that need us. What are we going to do? Are we going to sit and be a spectator or are we going to participate? Hi, my name is Hal Hargrave, Facility Director of The Perfect Step Paralysis Recovery Centers. The Perfect Step started after I sustained a life-altering spinal cord injury. We owned a gym over at the Claremont Club. We had to decide what our future was going to look like due to the closure of that facility. We have clients that have suffered from spinal cord injuries to traumatic brain injuries. And for a lot of those clients, they just don't get out. More than anything, it's been a place of community. They're all going through the same thing, and I was very fearful because most gyms were shutting down. I felt like the world was crashing down on me, and you get the news that this great marriage that we had with the Claremont Club for 13 years was coming to a close, and you start to think, what direction do I go? I went back to a verse that has become very prominent in my life right now, where God and the Lord speaks out, and he says, um, I will not cause pain without allowing something new to be born. And that weighs heavy on me. To think that you can continue to have faith in a verse like that or in a God that claims that he's going to instill something into your life, but he's also going to provide the pain. Boy, we were looking for, we were looking for healing. And for me, there was a profound moment. And this was after the second time that we had been closed. And Corey at Hillside here was preaching that day, talking about strength, and it was talking about courage, and it was talking about go home and make a difference. And it was at that time we decided to move the perfect step and reopen it. If you were to ask me on March 16th of last year if moving the perfect step to a different location would be in our best interest, no way. This is where having a trust in God really tests and challenges your faith. I've had an opportunity to talk to a lot of our clients and they've stopped me and just said, hey, thank you. You don't realize what it's done for our family and it's given us a place where we could come and, and feel at home and it gives us hope. God has is, is strengthened me more during this time and kept our family bold in taking some of these steps. We don't sit on the sidelines. We've got to go out and do something. Thank you.